Organ Transplant, Epstein-Barr Virus Information. What is Epstein-Barr Virus? This video tells you what you need to know about Epstein-Barr Virus and your organ transplant. Epstein-Barr Virus, or EBV, is a member of the herpes virus family. It's one of the most common human viruses. EBV is found all over the world. About 9 out of 10 people will get infected with EBV at some time in their lives, and once you have it, it stays in your body for life. EBV spreads mostly through body fluids, usually saliva. It's commonly called mono, or the kissing disease. As a person having an organ transplant, am I at risk for EBV? When the virus is inactive, it does not cause symptoms, but EBV can reactivate when your immune system is weak. People who have received an organ transplant have weakened immune systems because of the anti-rejection medicines they take. You may already have EBV in your body before your transplant. You could also receive a donor organ that has EBV. Some people receiving transplants are more at risk for EBV than others. You are at the highest risk if you don't have EBV and you receive an organ with EBV, are taking high doses of anti-rejection medicines, or have been treated for a transplant rejection. It's best for a person without EBV to receive an organ without EBV, but this is not always possible. Will my donor and I be tested for EBV before transplant? You will be tested for EBV before and after your transplant. Donors are also tested for EBV before they donate. If I test positive for EBV, Will I have to wait longer for my transplant? Testing positive for EBV will not usually delay your transplant. How long after an organ transplant can I get an active EBV infection? An EBV infection can happen any time after transplant, but most commonly happens within the first year. EBV infection is usually a mild to moderate illness, but in rare cases, it can become a more serious problem. If you are at higher risk of an EBV infection, your transplant team will watch you closely. You'll do blood tests, and you may need medicines to prevent an infection, treat it, or both. How do I know if I have an active EBV infection? Most EBV infections happen when the virus reactivates while your immune system is weak. Most people don't have symptoms. If you do get an EBV infection after your transplant, symptoms may include feeling very tired, fever, sore throat, head and body aches, rash, swelling of the lymph nodes in the neck, armpit or groin, or yellowing of the eyes and skin. When is an active EBV infection a more serious problem? The more serious form of an EBV infection is called PTLD, or post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease. PTLD is a type of cancer that in most cases can be treated we don't know why some people who have had transplants develop PTLD and others don't. The risk of PTLD is highest when the person receiving the transplant does not have EBV before their transplant. How is EBV treated? Your transplant team will watch you closely if you need treatment for EBV. Treatment for EBV is different for everyone. It usually includes lowering how much anti-rejection medicine you take and giving you medicines to help control the virus. 
Sometimes, treatment may not be needed. Be sure to stay in close contact with your transplant team and follow your treatment plans exactly. And remember, your transplant team is here to support you through your transplant journey.